Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you're subscribed so you have a chance to win. And we're getting very close to that next giveaway. And also, um, the last winner, he did comment back, I think it was a he, I have to check again what the, the name was, but hasn't reached out to claim the prize yet. So if you're watching, I can't remember your name, but I'll double check. I'll actually go back and comment again. Make sure you reach out through the link to the Facebook group. Join the group, personal message me, and we'll figure out um, how to do that. If you don't claim the prize before the next giveaway, I'm just going to add that on to the next giveaway. So make sure you reach out and get your winnings because I know you know you won. So let's make sure at least we make some contact, even if you don't want to use it right away, just so I know it's going to someone. So today, something I haven't done in a long time, we're going to do a thrift haul video. I had said in the last video, sales have been a little slow, so I went out with a specific niche in mind. I wanted to add some Christmas items because of this time of year, they sell very quickly, uh, especially if price right and especially if you get the right thing. So I was willing to overpay even a little bit. I didn't end up having to, um, except for on one item, I paid a little more than I would have liked to. And I found some other things. So let's just go through them and see how the day went. So first thing up, very simple. Uh, Tupperware tumblers, always buy them. I mean, for the right price, of course. Everything's always, you buy it for the right price. And something I have figured out is that the price matters sometimes more than the product. Because you could come across something that you know is going to sell. And you know it's going to sell great. But if it's too much money, it's just not worth the process. Uh, but something like this, a tumbler for 25 cents, I know this is easy to list and will flip quickly if price right, which is still good money. So 25 cents into whatever this turns into, I don't know exactly, but I'll be putting prices up on the screen so you'll know better than I will. Also, this is one to a set I'd already bought from Goodwill not that long ago. So I am going to do something I don't normally do, which is pull down a listing to split it into two listings because it was two types and I just grouped them together. And now with this one, it makes more sense to have two separate listings. And then again, in that vein, I'm not gonna go too much into them. There were these, um, and now that I'm looking at it, this one has some crazing, but I'm gonna lot them together anyways, but they are, when it rains, it pours. They're salt. What brand is that? I can't think of it, but this brand of salt, they were cups, three different kinds. I'll lot them together. Someone who collects that, I think, and I checked, they do come with a date, like which one it is, 1921, 1914, 1968. That's not when they were made. That's when that salt company was using that label. But I'll put them together because people collect the weirdest things. And there's somebody out there that collects salt memorabilia. And they will buy all three of these as a set, I think. And again, the only reason I bought those is because they were a quarter a piece. I you know, seven to $10 each for those lotted together, maybe a little less, but it's the quarter that matters. It's how much I paid. That was again with this item, this trout stout, there was only one sold. There was, I think zero listed. Again, only reason I would ever buy something like this is because it was a quarter. Any more than that, 50 cents, I'm gonna say pass. That That's the difference when it comes to cheaper items where you're gonna make, you know, 10 to $15. If it's a quarter, that's a big ROI. If this is a dollar, that changes the whole thing. Same thing with these ones, which funny story, these Norfolk, just basic blue um, cups, a quarter a piece. I, after I left Goodwill, went to Salvation Army, these exact same cups they wanted a buck 19 a piece for, no chance I'm paying a buck 19, but for a quarter, it's worth my time and effort. And continuing in that theme of wouldn't be worth it unless it's almost free, are these Corel golden butterfly plates quarter a piece. So for a buck total, I'll turn a dollar into, you know, 15, $20, maybe a little more. I'm not exact on that, but I sold a whole set of these like cups, saucers, everything. And I had an original price for like 120 plus shipping. I think, I think I ended up having to get rid of it for 65 or 70, very low discount, not a great seller, but it was the price that mattered to me because that's where the return, the ROI return on investment. Now this one surprised me a little bit. It's a just a normal tea kettle, copper bottom. It's not a Revere Ware. It's actually actually a Regal. Uh, so I wasn't very confident. I said, okay, well let me at least look it up because it's clean. I don't have to. 
I could polish that up a little bit if I wanted to, but I probably won't just because there's no, no charring, no blackening on it. So I don't think I'm going to bother because if I go to clean it and then there's a spot that won't really get clean, but it looks good. So I looked this up, $2.99 at Goodwill, actually about $30. So that's, this is actually selling for more than some of the Revere Wear ones. So definitely look out for the Regal Copper Bottom uh, tea kettles. I was surprised. Now this is the item that I overpaid a little bit for. Um, it is Department 56, the Snow Babies line. It's this all white um, with snow babies, they're babies. Uh, they had a bunch of these, probably most of the set. This one was $15. The only reason I, I bought this one and this one only, because it comes with the box and the original packing. The rest of them were priced in the same kind of range, but they had no packing. So it was gonna be a lot more difficult. This one looks like it's possibly never been used. The box is a little beat up, but that was the difference. I was willing to pay the 15 bucks to turn that into, I think this was going for about 50 with all the original packaging. But again, you'll see that on the screen. I don't really know off of memory. Uh, but this is the one that I, I overpaid for a little bit. And you'll see why I didn't really care later in the video about overpaying for this one a little because there was a good score in there. A couple more Christmas items. Uh, this is a Harmony Kingdom. I'm not sure exactly what this is used for, but it has a, uh, this is a cap right here. I don't, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's for tiny candles, but buck 99 for this. I don't remember exactly how much, but it was, it was worth picking up. I want to say it was 15, 20 bucks. This one, I couldn't find a comp for. It is a Cleveland Indians Christmas bowl. And again, rolling with the Christmas theme. This one I pay overpaid for. But it was just because I know it'll sell. I wanted to get some things on the shelf that I know are going to sell. I paid four bucks for this, and I think that's $15. Um, it's in really good shape, really clean. But it is a uh, Russ Trolls doll Santa. The one, this one specifically with the Santa beard, sells for more than the Mrs. Claus. And then there's another one that I think is supposed to be an elf, but it looks like he's Santa with no beard, unless it's no beard Santa. And then this one. I knew when I saw it that it was going to be worth something because, I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in enough, it says Hong Kong right here, and plastics that aren't made in China, uh, Japan, Hong Kong, vintage plastics that aren't Chinese tend to have a value, and this one I paid 99 cents for because to them this looks like trash, to me this looks like a collectible somebody wants, and again, I'm not positive, but I think it was 10, 15 bucks. Now, this one was kind of a shot in the dark. It's from uh, Sarah's Attic. It's the Black Heritage line. And it's numbered and um, not signed, but it's 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 numbered. So it's limited edition because it's number 201 of 2,400. So for whatever that's worth. I couldn't find comps on this exact same one, but I could find stuff from this line that had sold. And I paid uh, $4.99 for this. This is one of those things where I think the fact that I couldn't find this exact one will lend towards it being more valuable because there was other ones that had multiple listings for. So I will not lose money and this might be very long tail, but I thought it was worth a shot and it's, it's heavy duty. There's no chipping. I was very sure about that. But the, this, from this Sarah's Attic Black Heritage line, there were sold comps, just not this one. So I, I think I'll I'll make decent money on this. I'm probably gonna list it for about 25 plus shipping, maybe 30 plus shipping, and see where it goes. And then this was another thing um, that I couldn't find any comps for, but it is a Coleman bag, Coleman brand, and Kentucky, which is a major university that people like to buy things for, you know, your sweatshirts and your, you know, ties with the logo on it, but it looks brand new. It looks like it's never been used. And I, I paid five bucks for it, it was just, I, it looked like something that I could, you know, easily list and easily flip and looks fairly new. The, the logo isn't worn at all, but I, I suspect I'll get, this is light enough, 25 bucks free shipping, 20 bucks free shipping. So not a ton of money, but an easy lister and easy shipper and, and all the other, uh, upside things. If it's not a ton of money that I like to have. And this was the last thing from the Goodwill paid $4.99. It is a Nutristol, I think is what the brand is. 
Let me peel the sticker off real quick. Yes, Nutristall, so it says on the top there. It's got um, a temperature gauge in the knob here, and I saw that they were selling, you could sell just this part, and that was, uh, people were doing that, but I'll, of course, sell the whole thing. I don't see any reason why not, but I want to say this was 30 plus bucks uh, for this small one. I didn't go into enough research on the spot on which size it was or anything like that. I just saw that this brand had a sales history and that people were selling this individually. I tossed it in the cart. I was in a buy-in mood. So $4.99 on that. I think that'll be about a $30, um, $30 sale, $30 profit, somewhere in that range. And then this one right here, uh, Springbok, new in package, king size puzzle, thousand piece. I paid $3.59 for it. That's excessive, but this'll be $20 plus shipping most likely. And now that I look at it closer, I very mad at myself. Always look at everything. I picked this up and I said, oh, new in package, $3.59. That's too much money, but a couple pictures and scan a barcode and it's good to go. But as you can see right here, this has a burn mark on it. So that's unfortunate. It's still new, but that's a real bummer that I have to disclose that this thing has a burn. So that's, that's a bad buy. That's now went from a eh, okay buy to I should not have bought this. And that's, that's, a, that's just a careless mistake by me not to look at all the sides. And I mean, you can't really expect for something to have a burn, but I, I should have noticed that. That's, that's on me. So hopefully I can break, break even and get my money back. And then the last thing I picked up at the Salvation Army is I'll probably end up ditching the cover because it's separated itself and I don't know, maybe not. Just I'll, I'll have to determine that at some other time. But these carousel wooden um, Lazy Susan chip holders, if in good condition and depending on the brand, if you can find, I think it's called Druidic. Ugh, that's, that doesn't sound right. But I had sold a chessboard from them before. I sold a chess set carousel from them before. I'll try to remember what it was and put the name on the screen. That is where your real money's at that people don't realize. Because the chessboard I sold for, I want to say it was close to $100. But it could have been the $70 range. It was quite a while ago. But the reason I bought this one um, for, for $3.99, the carousel... I'll, I'll make some okay money on that. It's not fantastic, but it's it doesn't have any markings. But the chips inside of it are clay. And they have a... Looks like a... Uh, a jockey on a horse. It actually looks like a jockey on a greyhound. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a horse. Uh, but these clay chips, these are vintage chips. I'll pull those out and sell them separately. So I'll make probably 15 to 20 bucks on the carousel itself. And then I'll probably make an additional 25 to 50. I'll have to research and see how collectible these ones are. I have another set of clay chips that I need to reduce the price on. But same thing. There's Chips are collectible. Not the newer plastic ones, but clay chips. And then if you can find... I had sold a set before where it was like... It had the... Uh, what do they call it? It's called... Oh, it's called the Good Luck Swastika. Because it predates Nazi Germany. So you have to be careful in your listing, but it's highly collectible, predates Nazi Germany, but it has a swastika on it. So you have to be very careful. It is not a Nazi Germany swastika. It is predated. It's a good luck. It was a symbol used in ancient Egypt, in India. It was a good luck symbol for ever until uh, Native American culture, they used it until the Nazis decided to use it and then ruined it. Uh, kind of like... Um, Hitler with his mustache. No one can ever wear that mustache again. It is ruined forever. If you do, you, people go, oh, you got a Hitler mustache. Not you have a, you know, uh, what was the, the actor? Oh, I can't think of him. Uh, the black and white silent movie actor. He, he had that same mustache, but it's not like, people, oh, Charlie Chaplin. It's not like they go, hey, look at your Charlie Chaplin mustache. They go, hey, look at your Nazi Hitler mustache. So he ruined that mustache. He ruined a very cool symbol that was used for a long time before them, which is unfortunate. Um, added to the long list of unfortunate things uh, associated with Nazi Germany. Now here is the reason I was willing to go on a bit of a shopping spree and 
uh, overpay for a couple things and just fill up the cart because I got this bad boy, which is uh, a blow mold Santa. You've heard me talk about blow molds before. Very clean, a little bit of wear on the paint. I'm not sure if that's actual wear or if it's just, it was just a chintzy paint job when they would make them. I don't know, but it's in very good shape. And I paid $6.99 for this, and I should get somewhere around $200 plus shipping. So that's that's the big score there. That's what makes you happy. I walked in and said, oh, that's mine. And I had more than one person. I had a couple, uh, an older couple, and then another gentleman on the way out of the store. I go, oh, man, oh, man. Because if you don't know, there's, there's good money in blow molds, especially in a good condition like this. Uh, 699 into 200, 150, 200, somewhere in there is depending on where it gets shipped to will be depending on how much money I'm able to make, but that, I'm going to get this listed today and hopefully this sells by the end of the week. That would be a nice little, little bonus to the month. Get my month back up to, to something acceptable, but yeah, big money right there. Very happy about this one. And it does have the light with it, but for some reason the back where it's supposed to come through at least i think it's in there i don't know but it looks it looks like the cords in the bottom nope there's a hole in the bottom yes oh the light is in there okay the light is mounted and there's the plug so maybe i'll have to change the bulb i don't know we'll see about that but that's good to know i didn't i didn't even check at the store i saw it threw it in the cart i didn't even look at the price i just threw it in the cart um so big score there love this one this this is this is the types of things that remind me why I love doing this job. This is the treasure hunt part, this right here. And then one last item. I didn't buy this at the Goodwill or the uh, Salvation Army. Um, actually, my, my pops found this at a garage sale and I just pulled it out of storage to list and I just thought it was cool and worth mentioning. This is a new in package Revereware uh, skillet and lid. It's been opened, but I, I looked at it. It's definitely never been used. I'll sell it as new open box. And there's none of this kind sold, but I saw a new in box uh, saucepan, a, new in a couple new in box saucepans, a few others, but they were selling in the 100 to $150 range. I think he paid a couple bucks for it. But this this is just really a, really a cool, interesting item. I figured I'd at least show it off kind of kind of glowed a little bit because you do not come across things like this but if you do buy them about once a year i'll come across some type of vintage cookware new in box last year i had a corning cranberry the cranberry grass glass from corning i don't think i have any to show an example of but they they have the amber for like the waffle bottom and all that they also made a cranberry colored line and it was a full set in box new in package and I, I think I got that at Salvation Army. So that was that was a good score too. But this one right here, just cool. Just wanted to show it off a little bit. But yeah, new in package, vintage cookware. The difference between a pan that looks exactly like this, brand new, uh, clean, never been used, and one that's actually in the box is a difference of about $100. So not something to skip by. Even if it's a little, seems a little overpriced, make sure you check because... Like I said, if this, if I had this exact pan and it looked like it never been touched, I'm going to get 30, 35 bucks for it. But because I have the box packaging and I can list it as new open box, I'll get a hundred to $150. That's, that's a big deal. So I don't know how well exactly I did on this thrift haul. I think it's pretty good. You'll know because I'll add it up the totals, add it up my cost and put something on the screen, something up here that shows off how well I did and hopefully once I do my math I realize it's very good I think it will be but that's gonna be all for this one I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down subscribe share and be good to each other